this year. Um, John Giorno, Steve Cannon, Jonas Minkus, a number of folks who've been deeply important to this space and event and community. Um, our next reader is Anne Tardos. <laughs> Anne Tardos' new collection of poetry, Listen to the Vowels of the Wind, will be published by Blaze Vox Books in 2020. That's this year. Please welcome Anne Tardos. the new year, I just say, in one year, out the other. <laughs> I'm going to read a short, angry poem that I dedicate to Greta Thunberg. Thunberg. How dare they run education into the ground, into the planet, deforest, poison, contaminate, kill, toxic waste, sewage, sludge, radioactive uranium, thorium, plutonium, glassy, black rubble, sold for indefinite poison. Deregulate dumping, deregulate air, raving lunatics, sicken the planet, Dump on rivers um, around children, oceans, these oceans, sewage, toxic waste, sickening, thickening, these oceans, our oceans, our planet. How dare they, these lunatics, how dare they savagely deforest our future. We walk in muddy waters, caged, for a revolutionary struggle, contaminated, poisoned, murdered, for a few bucks? How dare they? Thank you. Our next reader designed the beautiful posters and graphics that we have for the event this year. Christine Sansan Hu is a poet and visual artist living in Brooklyn, New York. Publications include Community Garden for Lonely Girls, I'm Sunlight, Concrete Sound, a collaborative artist's book with artists, with artist Audra Volopietic, and Accumulations. Additional poems and artwork recently appear in the Tiny, Foundry Journal, and Poetry Society of America, amongst others. She has received awards from the Key West Literary Seminar, the Flow Chart Foundation, the Academy for American Poets, and Europa University. Please welcome Christine Sansan Ho. Like it never happened. <clears throat> a sculpture miraculously appears in the rafters, an obtrusive tchotchke indicating the presence of unholy forces. Imagine holding a miniature version of yourself tightly. Having good intentions versus bad intentions does not keep religious beliefs alive. Little acrobats line up in the streets in preparation for doomsday. Floral and vegetal forms from heaven fly over the landscape. It is natural to be scared when teetering on the precipice of change. It is natural to keep your refrigerator stocked with frozen dinners, hot dogs, macaroni, turkey, peas, and mashed potatoes. Cindy says that she loves things that are magically clear. Clarity is a moment of madness unraveling in real time in a public space. We are all members of the public with dreadful hometowns and pathetic hearts. We tell ourselves 
Faith can be just as good, then slink back into our pattern-seeking ways. While contemplating whether or not to eat a clay pot, small anonymous faces appear in low reliefs around the pot's surface. I eat it after reading somewhere that consuming clay has major health benefits. Recent history shows that the preservation of authenticity is a hoax and that everything is subject to change. There are days I am so enthralled with habit that I truly cannot be bothered. Everything is subject to turn into glass. The warm bodies of my friends emanate golden lines like the sun. I am wide awake. How magnificently clear is the day.